next in my inheritance? Can I leave my seat and my will to a person <laughs> I, of my choice? If that means I don't have to listen to your shit anymore, Jackson, then good. Fine. Bad. It's fine <laughs> I by might me. kill myself right mm-hmm. now. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever think about that, yeah. though? You and, you and Andrew, specifically? Killing myself? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no uh, like Every there's day. people, there's people <laughs> half your age starting podcasts right now, guaranteed on TikTok. Yeah, um, I was talking with Charlie about this uh, like a week ago or something. The weirdest thing that hits me really hard with this is I will meet a new creator through one thing or another. So I'll be like, hey, I like your videos, and we'll talk on Twitter or you know, just hanging out with shit, and we'll be messaging. And they'll say, yeah, it's really kind of weird because I graduated college last year and I'm trying to find a good place to live. And I'm like, man, I haven't been in college in like eight fucking years. Yeah. Oh, God. It's just so weird to think about that kind of shit. At what point do you think... At at what point, what age do you guys think that you'll age out of content and (laughs) officially become uncool for doing (laughs) YouTube? Oh, I don't think I'm cool now. Who the fuck thinks they're cool for doing YouTube? But... I don't like, know. Uh, I think are you, are you going all the way to like them? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You got to pivot though. Are you like Charlie? Do you see yourself doing this until you're sixty? Yeah, until I'm eighty. The, the oh. content you can make at that age too unlocks a whole new vertical. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be looks, sh- like, looks like it's gonna be like shot old. from the retirement village and stuff. It's gonna it be depressing. Well, I think the kind of content that you envision, like that you cannot envision a forty-year-old doing, is also the kind of content that makes you cringe, even when it's a seventeen-year-old doing it. True. The, yeah, like pranks and stuff. I couldn't imagine an eighty-year-old. Yeah, like doing just prank screaming, videos. fake screaming, and s- stupid pranks, and just yelling at the camera on Twitch while you read, while you're reacting to Ben Shapiro. It's like, regardless of your age, you shouldn't be doing that anyway. But I don't mind. So, like, to to answer your original question, I really don't mind it. Whenever I see, like, a very talented person on Twitter, like a twenty three year old who's already making really great music or really great art, I think that's cool, and I'm really happy actually that like younger people have access to that shit. One downside that I guess we could talk about though is that Gen Z is tech illiterate now. I think the middle Ow. generation got lucky. Well, like my generation, how is I think they grow up. They grew up with smartphones, right? Like boomers grew up without technology, basically with a computer. Right, so yeah. that's forgivable. My mom doesn't know how email works, even. Then came our generation, smack dab in the middle, just as technology was emerging, and it was difficult. We had to learn, like, okay, how do I torrent Warcraft three and then crack it? Oh, I ruined my computer because it was a virus. I, now I have to go I format think, it. I have to find. Wait, a key. wait, wait! I still think but like the, you. You're only talking about a small percentage of your generation, though. I still think there's a large chunk of, I don't know, whatever ancient oh, for sure, generation but, uh, you're a part of that is tech illiterate. Oh, so well, I don't know anyone. But I still that's think the percentage is. is bigger than the new generation. I don't think like the average 16 year old now knows as much as I did when I was 16, because now you just have smartphones. You just download Temple Run. You don't torrent games. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I agree. I agree. Yeah. You're already showing <laughs> I, your age too, by the way. You fucking geriatric. It's not Temple Run anymore. It's all about Subway <laughs> Surfers. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Oh my God. Wait, Fucking Subway no Surfers one. is also outdated, oh. right? So, Subway Surfers was around like seven years ago. No, but that's the, that's still the hotness, though. Like, if you go on TikTok right now, a lot of the videos you'll see that are supposed to be like informative or something has Subway Surfer gameplay at the bottom to hold interest. Really? It's all about Subway Surfers, yeah. So, yeah. so I was pretty sure that Subway Surfer and Temple Run came out at like the same time, that like same kind of period of time. It kind of did. Those but runners were all the rage. Yeah, but Subway Surfer is the one that's kind of stood the test of time that children can't get enough of running through the fucking subway, I guess. Well, maybe that's the new that's the new pivot with uh, co- content. We should jump on this bandwagon and pivot to Temple Run. It's going to be new and exciting. Yeah, can, Danny, can you just the same itch. bin all of our webcams? Can it just be... Temple run footage? Yeah. So we want to make sure, yeah. Make sure people have enough uh, stimulation. Yeah, and, yeah. Gel- and, and people like, like footage of jelly. Yes, perfect. And cutting up soap. Put uh put <laughs> nothing but oddly satisfying gifts over where my webcam is. <laughs> put hardcore pornography gifts over mine, please. <laughs> 
That's the one way to get it. YouTube attention. yet. But yeah, I, I, I agree with Kaya. Playful kittens. I agree with Kaya. I I think that things are so simple and user friendly now that when an actual issue arises, people just cannot figure it out. Like I, I've got friends who just don't even know how to Google their own questions properly and like look for the answer the right way. You know, dude, I saw. So I don't. I'm not on TikTok, but I do see TikTok obviously when it like dumps on other social media or somebody sends me one. I saw this one of a, that went viral, apparently, of a girl who blew her followers' minds by reverse image searching. Oh. And they were like, holy oh. shit, you can, you can, I knew you could look up photos with text, but the other way around, that's incredible. <laughs> and I think now that we have AI and everything too, by the way, all the companies are going all in on AI. Like Microsoft has now laid off 10,000 people and they're now investing billions of dollars into open AI. And they said that they were going to make it basically part of all of their company, all of their products. Nothing so, scary about that, right, guys? Nope. Hey, I don't okay. worry about Microsoft. It's going to be integrated <laughs> into <laughs> Microsoft Word and whatnot. <laughs> and Only Google three weeks after that, that debate, to, uh, and I'm already being proven right that this is already having an effect on like the economy and jobs and stuff like that. Well, I don't yeah, think anyone ever argued that. Effect. We just yeah. argued that it was going to start murdering people within the next week yeah. or something because it could write your book Well, report. it will when Microsoft owns it. We, so. all, we all unanimously agree, Jackson, that this is going to cause disruptions in the workplace and changes to the economy. It's all streamlining, uh, yeah, yeah. and this is the same shit that happened with car manufacturers and all that shit. This is a rewriting of history, and I will but how far it goes, it. that's, just, that's a yeah, different it's story. it's an industrial revolution, and it's... Kind of amusing to watch. There's already like a lot of Reddit threads now of um, young people, like high school kids and shit, and college kids too, um, writing these threads like, "Oh, my teacher noticed that I used Chat GPT to write my essay. What do I do? He sent me to the dean's office. I might be get expelled." To which my answer is, first of all, deny it. Well, how the fuck can they really hundred percent prove it, right? But. Now they're making AI to detect if something is written by, by AI or an image is made by AI. It's very uh, entertaining to watch. But how can and you can AI already know tell, like, for sure? How can you know for sure that it's generated by AI? Yeah, the AI could start lying. <laughs> like AI is so so trying to fuck this kid over. You should AI generate your excuses, yeah. Ooh. Well, that's the thing. You can't. It, that's exactly how it works. So apparently when AI writes something, obviously it doesn't have like that human touch to it. It's like kind of too clinical. It doesn't have a custom style to it like each writer does. So other AI can detect this. But you can go and tell the original AI and say, hey, uh, make this sound more human. And apparently that works. And that doesn't get detected by the second well, AI.